well from one project to the next. This is my 88 John Deere 322. Uh, this is the tractor you might have seen on my channel before. I, uh, I did kind of a frame swap project on this one. So yeah, this is the one I did the frame swap on back in fall of 2015. And ever since I've been using this tractor um, to do, you know, basically chores around here and also to cut grass, um, I picked up this little 38 inch deck, which is quite honestly uh, borderline too small for a 300 series to fit in the wheel track. See, I picked up this deck for real cheap. As you can see, it's nowhere near perfect. Um, it's got a little hole back here. But yeah, I've been using this. I had a couple yards, um, a couple of clients actually with fenced in backyards. And the gates are like, I don't know, probably maybe 42 inches wide. So I put this on the 322 and uh, fit right through them with that and save me a lot of time rather than push mowing because uh, you know some of those yards can get pretty pretty long and push mowing just soaks up a lot of time and gas so with this on here i can kind of zip through them so that had been doing a good job for me uh probably cut grass uh, maybe three summers like this with this setup just doing those types of jobs and this machine had sat this fall. I hadn't really been using it. And it was sitting on my trailer, uh, kind of outside. And honestly, this thing has, let's see here, has 1,829 hours on it. And it's been starting to show uh, some signs that it, she needs a little love. Um, First and foremost, the ignition coils, um, she'll start to miss when the, she warms up. Um, so that's pretty much a telltale sign that the coils are starting to go south in it. And these are original. And this is, you know, pretty much a par for the course maintenance item on the 322 or the 3TG66. So yeah, I'm going to probably put some new coils on it um really clean all this up it's just all this caked on grease and crap it's just this thing has been a, a workhorse and it really never let me down for anything um it's held up pretty well and it's still kind of hot and uh when was that sometime in 2015 i had the rad uh kind of boiled out and cleaned out and I'd painted it, but the paint hasn't held up that great, as you can tell. So yeah, I had that going through. Uh, another, actually, I just cleaned the carb on it. As you can see, that's probably the best looking thing under the hood here. <laughs> uh, battery is newer. And so yeah, probably one of the worst things going on with it, engine-wise, is this darn muffler. As you can see, she... Uh, she let go right there, right where the tailpipe comes out of it. Um, I was going to have it welded, but just the overall integrity of this metal, I just decided against it. And I found one from a parts guy that'll uh, look real good on here. It's solid, it's original, but it's, you know, it's much better than this radley old fork can, basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun to take off. I gotta start soaking these in some PV and and uh, get them uh, get them ready to come off. Probably gonna use some heat, of course. But yeah, I'm gonna take that off. I gotta give this the alternator connector some attention. As you can see, there's probably a fire just waiting to start there. Uh, luckily, it hasn't. I have had the side panel on and. You know how that goes when this catches on fire and you got to take the damn side panel off. You don't have a 10 mil wrench. <laughs> so, got to go through that. Um, another thing too is after it sits a while, it's been leaking some um, hydro oil. I believe the input seal is starting to go. It's really moist. And it kind of runs down the transmission or the differential, sorry. As you can see there. 
yeah, it kind of runs down there. Um, so yeah, it's after it sits, I guess, after uh, the seal kind of isn't swelled up, it starts to leak. And I think the check valves are leaking too. This mess of grass and stuff. So I might have those redone, but definitely gonna probably do the input seal. I'm gonna clean it up here and I'm gonna do the old baby powder treatment just to be sure it's leaking there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to pull the engine again. Um, I had it out when I did the whole frame swap project, but this engine really doesn't take too much to pull out. Um, it's just a lot heavier than an Onan, uh, noticeably so, because um, it's a cast iron block and it's got another cylinder in there and stuff. And uh, yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to first take it to the car wash and I don't have my power washer down here. I'm just going to take it to the car wash and blow all this crap out of it really just cleaning up i hate working on a dirty machine that's honestly one of the worst things for one of my pet peeves but yeah we're gonna blow all the crap out of this thing and uh we're gonna start digging into it i gotta order those coils for it i got the muffler um the hood i might send to my detail guy and have him buff it it's really oxidized as you can see it's been in the sun an awful long time um I do have side panels for it. Uh, this one's decent. The exhaust side's not the greatest, but I do have a spare that I want to throw on. I'm not trying to paint this tractor. This is just a worker machine. Um, so we're not going for a show like appearance or anything near that. Um, the fender pan too, it's rough. This was off my old 89 318. I actually cut it to fit. I mocked it up with a, uh, another good 322 pan and I cut it to fit, but powder coats uh seen better days on it um i could have it repowder coated but like i said i'm not trying to uh turn this into a, a show machine or anything like that i'd love to but um it's just not in the books right now so yeah i have a nicer pan i'm going to throw on it i'm going to swap that seat bracket out uh, i have a good seat for it um also i'm going to put a v set of v61s on the front uh, as you can see here that's a lot of awful lot of right turns on that <laughs> but yeah i'm um, gonna take these uh this one's not as bad but yeah i'm gonna put some v61s on the front i don't know about the rear i'm just just leave turf tires on it um because i'm just gonna really mow with it mostly and have the 38 inch deck on it but yeah it's gonna get a nicer fender pan um just uh really some tlc um that's all I'm really going for with this. So, I plan to make a couple parts uh, to this whole series of working on this thing. Um, the first step I took actually yesterday, I cleaned the carb on it. It actually fires right up now, it's running good. But it, it would want the choke on and stuff. And that carb was just, once I got in there, there was just a bunch of sediment and crap it sucked up from the tank. Um, probably should flush the tank, but I might get by without it. So yeah, it runs good. It kind of sounds like with the uh, the muffler blown out, but. nice now with that tarp cleaned out. There was a bunch of crap in the jet and of course the bowl or the bottom of it. But. but uh yeah I also gotta look into this battery tray. It's I think there's a kit on eBay but it's as you can see it's sagging back towards the engine. So I might look into that but otherwise than that it's honestly a strong runner. It uh doesn't burn any oil um, the oil stays clean uh, for a while it's internally this thing's pretty pretty tight um, as far as that goes 
water pumped up exceedingly. Although there is some residue, but hopefully uh, I'm almost tempted to do that when I pull the motor to do the uh, input seal. So we'll have to see as far as that goes. But. Yeah, she runs good, so uh, stay tuned for my next upcoming videos on this little project. Um, hopefully I'll knock it out in the next two weeks here or so, um, depending on when I get the parts, like the coils and whatnot and the seal. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.